Hard-fought first half that found Arizona down 12 to the Wolverines of Utah Valley, but it was the second half energy and effort from the Wildcats that propelled them to victory. And Emmanuel Acott here with me. What was the difference? Was it just an energy question or was it some other tactical things? Uh, you know, we knew Utah Valley was a good team and uh, we just stuck with the game plan and just played hard. And, you know, second half we ran a little faster, you know, played a little harder. But for sure, we were a good team. It was just, it was just a good outing for our team. You're a team kind of guy, so let's talk about your teammates first. Brandon Randolph got hot early in the second half. How fun's that to watch him get going? You know, during the summer, Brandon was working on his game and working on his shot, and he really wanted to make that freshman, sophomore leap, and you guys could see it. So Brandon's just been working all summer and just showing. On the defensive end, you guys picked it up, and I felt like there was a stretch there where you were involved in maybe the back-breaking moments. You got a defensive rebound, took it the length of the floor, found a teammate for a layup. Very next play, forced a turnover, dove on the floor, keyed the break. Is that the type of play you like to be involved in? Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, we had five guys playing very hard on the defensive end, and, you know, the ball just came my way, just made big plays, and we, became, we got out victorious. There's a couple other moments that I love, but how about Rai Lu driving baseline, dunking on a couple of their players? You know, uh, Rai Lu has, a, he has sneaky athleticism. You know, we've seen that a couple times. We're just waiting for it to happen in the game, but yeah, great dunk. All right, you're back on the road. You've got another road trip back to the East Coast, per se, to at Alabama. Uh, what do you think you'll learn from the UConn game that's going to help you here on the road again this weekend? Um, I think just staying poised, sticking to the game plan, and not letting the crowd, you know, affect the game. So the Wildcats keep it rolling here. They'll be in Tuscaloosa, Alabama on Sunday.